G'day, how you doing? We're heading to the Takaka Hill to see Tilly. Who's Tilly? Tilly is a little dog about this big, looks like a toilet brush. It's been terrorising the weka up there. What a weka. Weka in New Zealand are a bush hen. They taste a bit like a cross between pork and chicken if you cook them up and eat them. Not that you're allowed to eat them in New Zealand, but you are if you get them off the Chatham Islands. And I've eaten them on the Chatham Islands. I've actually eaten quite a lot of weka over the years that's come from the Chatham Islands. Anyway, Tilly's killing weka. Well, not killing them, but terrorising them. I don't know if she's killed me or not, actually. It just came out of my head. She's been on the program that Doc run here in uh, Motawaka, but it hasn't worked. So what they do is they get the dog, they put a e-collar on its neck. Uh, when it goes and they have dead weka and dead kiwi, when it goes and sniffs them, they vibrate it. Not electrocute it, vibrate it. Just want to make that clear because I get a lot of people, oh, don't use e-collars on dogs. Well, there's a difference between electrocuting a dog and a bit of vibration. And when you consider what it's saving, it's saving baby chicks and Weka from being killed because one bite and those birds are dead. So what am I using? I'm using the Alpha 100. All you pig hunters will know what that is. It's for tracking your dogs, but it also controls the T15. TT15. Now, TT15, just to show you, um, it has no prongs, so there is no electricity. It's just vibrate. It doesn't have any of those um, things that, that, that push into the dog. So I will be putting some vibration through the dog when it sees a live whacker. And that will be the best way to teach it not to chase after whackers. Because whackers are cool. Actually, whackers are predators. They're bloody. They're, they're real. Like, they'll kill a mouse. They'll kill other birds. And I guess uh, that, you know, before we start introducing species in New Zealand, like cats and rats and stoats and possums and all the other things that uh, kill stuff, we had natural predation going on with our birds because Weka will kill birds. I've seen it. Better drive, boy. Bloody hell. I think I can hear Tilly. I'm bringing some venison. I can have some venison stew. How about that for a backyard? Is there a weekend outside? Is there? Oh, well, we'll do a wee bit of training right now then. This is the T5 I'm going to use today with Tilly. Tilly! Good kill. She's hiding over there. Come on. Tilly, come. Good girl, good girl Tilly, good girl, hey, gee she's a character, come on mate, there you go hey. I saw a wicker outside, yeah we're going to pop that on your neck, good girl, aren't you mate, good girl hey, yes, you can look like a pig dog in a minute with a tracking collar on. She's not happy, man. She knows exactly what's. She's had one on before. She's not happy about that. Good girl. She's lost her happy demeanour. Haven't you, mate? Hey. There's aerial at the back, so you can't see it. I think it's the aerial. She's had a vibrate collar on before. Uh, turmeric, garlic, ginger, red onion, zucchini, runner beans, and we've got. Pepper, chili pepper, broccoli. Oh yeah, and some tomatoes and some cabbage. Yeah, this is that um, that pepper, um, but it's a sweet one. Sweet one. Yeah, sweet chili. Sweet chili. Yeah. Oh, mm. nice, that's really sweet. And you got the butter going in the skillet, is that for the venison? Yeah. Sweet. And Hillary's cutting the shoulder, getting the most out of it. I've got the V for the vibro. Okay. Where's the wicker? Um, Underneath the... Oh, there is two? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. It's just gone down the bank. It shot down the bank. It's just come back in. It's just by that bit of wood. They're quite inquisitive, aren't they? Yeah. Tell me to walk out and she might just... It's just in the garden. Yeah, just... Okay. She hasn't seen it. It's just down here. I'm zapping her. I'm zapping her. 
She didn't like that. I zapped her. The wick is just in the garden here, look. She got quite a, she got quite a bit of a zap. There's the wicker. She's no. it may have worked. Look, she's gone back inside. Yeah. May have already done it. She's seen it, look. She's not going for it. There it is. She's seen it, look. She's looking at it. Look, she's run inside, see that? Yeah. I think we've got a pretty well wicker proof. Cool. See cool. that? She didn't want to go near it, did she? No, she didn't. She's no. associated the wicker. She's associated the wicker with this. And it was just a vibrate. Does that normally happen when she sees a wicker? She runs away like oh, that? Oh, no, she usually really takes off barks and, and oh, chases wow. it. Yeah, wow. chases it around and very hard to get it back. Oh, wow, well, she didn't want to go near it. Do you want to call again? We just try and give her one last zap. Tilly! But... Well, I like a bit of innocent. Yep. Well, let's see if she's going to... She's not going to go near that wicker, is she? No. She's not... She's gone back inside, look. I think it's worked, you know. I think we've got it. Fingers crossed. You're scared of that wicker, eh, mate? Not going to go near it. I think that really worked, eh? The wicker's going to come up on the veranda, by the looks of it. The wicker's just come up on the veranda, and Tilly's, like, running away. She's gone away from it. It's worked. She's actually trying to get her far away from the... No, <laughs> she can. <laughs> oh, it's only a vibration, eh? She just doesn't like that vibrate, does she? No. Mm. no. Yeah, nothing's hurt her and it's just saved a wicker, which is mm. fantastic. Here's the wicker sitting out there on the rock. Pretty. So we're going to take the uh, collar off just to make sure that she's not too clever to work out that it's the collar and not the wicker. Yeah. Okay, mate, you're free now. She still looks uncertain. She's gone. I'm so hungry. I'm just ready to chomp into this. So the wick is on the veranda and Tilly's gone hid behind Hillary's legs, which is a, a sign that the stock proofing has worked. She doesn't want to have a bar of the wicker. It's a success. This wicker is now pretty safe from Tilly. Normally she'd chase it and literally try to hunt it. Now it's hanging around. And I want to show you the collar exactly what it did so if you think of a, a cell phone how it vibrates in your pocket it does the exact same thing this here i don't know if you can hear that but i'll just put it down like this and vibrate that's all it does so can't even hurt the dog yet she's run inside and she's absolutely terrified of that vibrate which she thinks comes from this guy here get him mate G'day, how you going? I gave you a bit of venison before, didn't I? You're hanging around for some more. You're very tame. Beautiful bird. Yes, you are. Here we go. She had babies until he scared them away. Whether they survived, probably not. So now her next clutch has a chance, because we don't think that Tilly's going to go near her anymore. And she's enjoying that. The flies are hanging around. She's eating plenty of it. There you go, mate. Got to catch a lot of grubs and bugs to get that much protein, don't you, eh? Mm-hmm. She's going to park up beside Mum. Away from that cruel, nasty wicker. Hey, good girl. I'm satisfied she's wicker-proof. Have you tried it, Hillary? Have you now? Okay. How's it taste? It's delicious. Yeah. Mm. Well, David Vass shot that deer mm. and gave it to me. Lovely. Not only did that, but he also cleaned the bottom of the ferry for me, or the house boat. That's cool. It is. Considering this is shoulder. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Hmm. So what do they got in the Margaret? One, I'm not, one's a mixture, I'm not quite sure what the mixture is. Yep. One's uh, Coromico. Oh, Coromico. Yeah, and one's Coromico. Because Coromico is a native plant that you use... Yeah, pepper. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And a little, a really small flavour. 
Mm -hmm. The inside of it's very healing for the stomach too, Coromico. Surprisingly tender, isn't it, Hillary, for the shoulder? That's great, yeah. Mm. That's come up very well. Mm. And Tilly is trying to hide in Hillary's hair because the wick is on the veranda and she's trying to get away from it. <laughs> it's awesome up here on the Taka Hill. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little clip on stock proofing a naughty dog against wickers. It's been a success, I think we can say, but I will do a follow up just to see what happens. Be good, can't be good, be careful. See you later.